Next, three Palestinians are reported to have been killed in fighting with Israeli troops in the occupied West Bank city of Nablus. The Palestinian Health Ministry says at least 40 others were wounded. The Israeli army has released a statement in which it says Ibrahim al-Nabulsi, a senior commander of the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade, was killed during the raid on a house in Nablus, adding that another, quote, terrorist was killed alongside him. The latest clash has come just two days after a truce between Israel and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad ended three days of violence in Gaza. For more on the story, we can cross now to journalist Jordana Miller, who joins us live from Jerusalem. Jordana, what's the significance of the killing of this Al-Aqsa leader? Well, it's related uh, really to Israel's ongoing uh, operation against what it calls terrorists that operate uh, in the disputed West Bank. Uh, the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade uh, is part of the Fatah party. It's the military wing. It has been alienated uh, for several years by the official leadership uh, the president there, Mahmoud Abbas, uh, who's backed obviously by the West uh, and is seen as a moderate Palestinian leader. Uh, this group has a very bloody and dark history. In the 90s, they were responsible for blowing up bombs uh, here in Jerusalem, killing scores of Israelis, innocent civilians. Uh, today, they operate uh, sometimes under the radar and in conjunction with Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Uh, and this particular leader, Ibrahim al-Nabulsi, uh, had been on Israel's wanted list for a very long time. Uh, this raid uh, was meant to be an arrest raid, which turned into uh, a very uh, protracted and violent uh, gunfight, uh, resulting in his death and that of two other militants. Um, but it was not the first time that Israel tried to arrest him. Uh, he has eluded uh, Israeli security forces for some time. Uh, he's accused of uh, carrying out several uh, shooting attacks on Israelis in the disputed West Bank. Uh, and we see that Israel uh, is coming out of the operation against Palestinian Islamic Jihad in Gaza emboldened and acting in what Israel sees as a more offensive capacity against uh, terrorists in the disputed West Bank. Um, others uh, will see it as uh, more aggressive uh, military raids, uh, which have, we have to say, over the last few months, uh, left uh, more than 60 Palestinians dead. Uh, Israel claims most of them are militants. Um, that is, uh, for the most part, accurate, but certainly there have been a number of civilians killed. The most high-profile one, of course, was the Palestinian-American journalist, uh, Shirin Abu Akleh. Indeed. Uh, how is this latest operation in the West Bank being received in Israel? Well, you know, it's very interesting because uh, usually when Israel conducts uh, any kind of military operations in the Gaza Strip, uh, the public usually sees it as a draw. You know, Israel may have gained a few things, but usually Hamas is seen as winning other things. Uh, this time, a uh, poll was conducted uh, last night by Israel's Channel 12 News and a think tank, and overwhelmingly, the Israeli public believes this was an Israeli victory. 68% of Israelis saying they believe Israel won uh, this uh, conflict with Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and both the Prime Minister, Yair Lapid, and the Defense Minister, uh, General Benny Gantz, getting very high marks from Israelis, uh, somewhere around uh, the, the percentage of 70% approval ratings. Uh, now, for these two uh, Israeli leaders who will be trying to uh, prevent uh, former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu from making a comeback in November, uh, this is good news for them. Whether it converts, uh, translates into votes, uh, we'll have to see. All right. Jordana Miller joining us live from Jerusalem. Thanks very much for that analysis. Thanks, Brian.